Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we got some uh, kind of big drama over here, a little bit of a bonus video, but I kind of want to hear your thoughts. Like, this is one of those videos, if you guys ever see this, like, show up in your sub box, or you're watching, or it's in, like, the random YouTube, like, home screen or whatever. This is where I'm giving you guys permission to go get all up in your business and all up in your opinions. Because right now, we actually had a pretty big tweet that's been going massively viral that's been, I don't want to say upsetting a lot of folks, but a lot of folks have been... Well, drawing a lot more opinions than I'm kind of expecting when it comes to Starfield, when it comes to the brand new upcoming game, laziness from the developers, and well, almost this very, very weird, distinct thinking and feeling that Starfield is going to suck just based off the random reveal of the starting soon screen. Now, this has been kind of a big drama, I'd say, throughout the past, like, day or so, and while I'm going to kind of scroll through some of the people's opinions and get my thoughts on it, I want to hear yours down below. So make sure you guys are subscribed, notifications on, got thoughts and comments down below, like I said, and of course, the Twitter and Twitch, if you guys are bored, will probably be hanging up on Twitch right now playing some games. Maybe check it out on Text Chainsaw. So let's go and dive into the video itself. So as I mentioned, this has been a big one. So first and foremost, the idea. If you guys ever go and play a game, let's go and think you play Halo, just for the same case of Xbox. When you press launch that game and you play it and you see this insane cool loading music you go and see like this really cool animation that sparks up whenever you launch a game or whatever it might be it's kind of the very first impression you see it has a very special meaning like i remember back in the day playing games like ocarina of time and the first time i launched it it felt very special or games where i like go and launch up league of legends and i realize i actually hate myself Yes. Or things like Call of Duty sometimes have really cool animations or dialogues or introductions or whatever it might be. It basically gets you in the vibe of the game. And I've always loved where you launch up a game and there's something really cool and dynamic. Like I'm sure a lot of you guys maybe remember back in the day, there was that Call of Duty Black Ops, that very first starting screen when it came to zombies. You have the guy who's like chained up to his chair and you don't really know what's going on. Like you can, like if you sat there, things happen. If you press certain buttons, things happen. Like things are interacting in the background. And it was not just a it was something special. Like, you felt like you were in the game and you are in the environment and everything else. And I can kind of see where a lot of folks, as I kind of hopefully explain all that, can see where sometimes that starting scoon, like soon screen adds a lot to the game and adds a lot to the devs and adds a lot to everything else in between. And I think it's something special. But this is where that drama is coming on in, where there's been this tweet over here from Grums. And now this tweet's been getting heat and viral. And you guys, can, if you guys ever go on Twitter, when you basically have more quote people kind of calling out your post and bookmarks and responses, typically at that point, you might be doing something wrong. But I, this is why I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. They go and say, the physiognomy, <laughs> if I even said that right, of start soon screens. The start screen of a game can reveal a lot about how rushed the team was and how much pride they took in their work. Starfield's start screen either shows hastily shipping deadlines by a passion team overworked or a team that just didn't care. And I'm going to show you guys this because this is hopefully not like a big major spoiler for a lot of you folks out here. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't think I agree with his take. I don't think I agree with the fact of like a dev is actually like the dev team is bad or that the game is going to be bad, like off of first impression. But I do want to go and say, at least in my opinion, based on especially what I said at the start, sometimes a game like a starting soon screen does add a lot to the game itself. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, seeing something like this, this reminds me of like those early access games I played a lot of. I play on Twitch, I play early access games all the time. I never mind it. Uh, but like this, it has like a welcome to Starfield. It means the world to us to have you explore our brand new universe. From all of us at Bethesda Game Studios, thank you so much for playing and your support. We can't wait to see what you discover. Now, I think this is a wholesome message. I don't want to take away from this. But it looks very shoddy. It makes everything kind of look fake and like just kind of gross. You have a new load settings photo gallery crew and quit if you guys look at the actual screen itself. And... It looks okay. Like, I don't want to harp on it. I care more about the game. Like, 100%. I want the game to be good. I want the graphics to be good. I want there to be less bugs. I want there to be a fun experience for me to enjoy. And I don't necessarily mind too much, because typically, if I'm going to be playing this, I'm going to instantaneously press new game. The second I see this pop on up, or if I'm relaunching the game, instantly going to loading. That's what I care about. Maybe settings, too, for the first time to make sure everything looks good and vibes good. But I'm not really someone who cares that much about the title screen for my overall rating of the game. Now, this take is, I'm going to apply harp on that a little bit more, because I think it matters. I think it matters overall, because it's a first impression. It kind of sets the tone. If you make it look good, it feels very nice. But I don't think it's the end-all, be-all. Like, sometimes you want to put 99% of the effort into the game, and you go and just have something nice and easy, because you know not many people care that much. But that's why I wanted to go and highlight those very specific examples, where sometimes that extra bonus 
feels good. That extra bonus feels nice. And it makes you feel like they actually did put a little bit of care into the game that they're trying to go make. So this is why I want to hear your thoughts down below, because I'm not sure if it's something you guys care about or don't. Like I said, I'm kind of indifferent, the usual fence-sitting YouTuber. You don't want to offend someone's audience by having too much of a hardcore opinion, but I want to say I wish there was a little bit something nicer. Like, imagine and this. I haven't seen it. It's just a screenshot. But imagine how cool it would be if, like, this random planet in the backdrop is just always perpetually rotating, and you can see, like, different parts in different types of colors. Or, like, imagine, like, an Earth-type style thing where it's always perpetually spinning and depending on how long you sit on here, you see a different image or video. Like, that'd be cool. Maybe it even will happen in the actual game, main game, because I'm only seeing this one screenshot because I don't have a press copy, sadly enough. Or maybe at the same time, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it's just them trying to go be like, thank you guys for caring. Like, they want you to play the game and enjoy it. Like, it's a nice message, but it does kind of seem shoddy. It kind of looks like someone made that in Photoshop and just basically copy-pasted that image into the game itself. Like, if that was, like, really cool, and maybe the start of the game, and they had, like, a really cool, like, like a, like a, I don't know, like a Star Wars-type intro introduction saying like we put our like that's what would give me nerd chills like there's basically you get rid of this top thing right here and you have this like maybe load and like new game the very first time you launch the game maybe just a new game and maybe settings really basic is the first time you launch it you press that and then it loads and like it zooms straight into the space sphere and then like the star field thing gets bigger as like your little spaceship is flying towards it and then they even have throughout the introduction saying like this was a passion project from all of our employees from us to you let's enjoy this game this is a labor of love and then the game just starts and like i would sit there and i'd have nerd chills because i'd be like they have confidence they have that feeling they know what they're doing instead when you see this like i said my first impressions you have like an early access game that's like hey the servers might be having some issues it's early access wish us good luck we love you guys for checking out our game and supporting us on kickstarter and it's just a different vibe now, once again, I care more about the game. Like, the game is what matters more. But first impressions do matter a lot. And like they said, this is basically something they're either hastily shipping to fit the deadlines, which is always a chance to have happened. I hope the game isn't like that, but there's a chance. Or maybe they were overworked and they couldn't even work in these nice quality of life finishing touches. Or maybe the team just didn't care. Now, we don't necessarily know about this. I'm not sure if I agree on this take at all. But some people might be thinking on this one. They go and say start screens are often done at the very end of development. Teams are too busy making the core game, which is good. We want the core game to be good. It's quite common for the start screen to completely change once the game is shipping or on patch zero. Teams that show pride want to put in a good face forward. And that's kind of what I just said about a minute ago. Like, I want them to be proud of what they made. I want the devs to be excited for what they made. I want people to be sitting there and being like, I cannot wait to play this game all night long when the first time they go and launch the game. And there has been better games out there where they put that little baby bit of love into it. It makes me, as a person who plays games, feel good. But sadly, this has been getting a lot of heat too, because some people are like, "Hey, I just hope the hope ex or the, or the hope I just hope the Earth explodes." Like you see some of these takes, and like some people have like takes kind of like mine, where they just want the game to be good. They don't really care about the title screen. They're not really like, that invest with it, or it got to go the way. Yeah, I have no idea. But some people are also saying I disagree because these are always bland. It's like the Bethesda style as well, and it fits these Skyrim and Fallout vibes. And I seem to recall that the passion teams that shipped fast and buggy games seems to fit my point too as well. So it's kind of like this guy's almost saying, like, hey, that's like my take. Like, these games are going to be buggy and quick. They might be good, but they're buggy. They're going to have issues, too, as well. And then some people are saying this is reading to a very black and white way, too, on top of that. And the people want to go put their own psyches into it. But that's why I think it's kind of fun, because I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Just kind of going insane, too, as well. Uh, I don't know. They also have some stuff cool. They have, like, a really cool UI game. They say that's maybe a god tier. According to Microsoft, the game was one year in quality assurance, which is also very good to see. We want that. And as well, the scorching streams maybe have a lot of time to design this, but maybe it's just not their cup of tea. Some people say it's just a start screen. Just probably start there, and that's all you got to do, too, as well. Some people say, my guy wants to play the start screen, which is kind of funny, too. Like, once again, I care more about the actual game itself. Starfield News is kind of giving them a the nice little gift for Ruski's on this one. And then some people are saying they like the dis like simplicity and minimalism too as well. Like you can kind of see the internet is very much kind of somewhat decided. Like even for this one too. I'll showcase them the Elden Ring as well. But this is what I kind of was saying. Like, I like the idea of, like, you see the cool design, Starfield, start soon down below. Like, this makes me feel like it's nice and clean. And I think it's very, very just cool overall. And then also some people are saying, like, nah, man, this is just silly. Some people think it looks sharp. And that's why I thought it was a fun video topic to go make on here. Because, like I said, people are, like, tweeting about this. People are talking about this. A lot of people are talking about the hype itself overall. Because don't forget the review codes have officially come out, too, as well. And some people have had a chance to literally play the game. And I hope it actually turns out good. I do believe the review embargo is up in like two weeks or so. So I myself cannot wait to go and play this game. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Do you guys like it? Do you guys dislike it? What's your thoughts and comments? Let me know. Make sure you guys also follow the Twitter and Twitch. We'll probably be live up on Twitch themselves. We'll also have all the Amazon links too as well. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow.